So here we have solving a polynomial inequality, problem type three. So again, set this factor equal to zero, you get four, this one, you get negative three, and this one actually don't get any x values because you get x squared equal to negative one and you can't take the square root of a negative value. So you don't get any x values in this factor, okay? So let's go ahead and just do the number line with the two x values we did get. And so then I can test negative four, zero, and five. So when I plug negative four in here, it's gonna be four minus a negative four, which is a positive value. Negative four plus three, which is a negative value. Negative four squared, which is 16 plus one is a positive value. So this ends up being negative in the end, which is less than or equal to zero. So this section will be shaded. Now if I test zero, four minus zero is positive. Zero plus three is positive. 0 squared is still 0, plus 1 is positive. So I end up with the positive. Positives are not less than or equal to 0. Now I'm going to test the region with the 5. So 4 minus 5 is negative 1. 5 plus 3 is a positive. 5 squared is 25 plus 1, which is 26, which is also positive. And when I multiply these signs together, I get a negative. So that means this region is less than or equal to 0 as well. This does have a bar, so it will be a solid dot and a solid dot, and but there's a break in between, so I do have to do both intervals, negative infinity to negative three, and then four to infinity, okay? Now, this one is different. So if I set this factor equal to zero, I get five. If I set this factor equal to zero, I get negative four. If I set this factor equal to zero, I get x squared equals four, or x equals plus or minus two, because you can take the square root of four and it's plus or minus two. So when I'm setting up my number line, I actually have four values I need to include here. Negative four, negative two, two, and five, which means I'm gonna have a lot of things to test. So six, three, zero, negative three, and negative five. So we're gonna plug them in. Um, negative 5 squared is positive 25. 25 minus 4 will be a positive number. Negative 5 plus 4 is a negative 1. 5 minus a negative 5 will be the same as 5 plus 5, which is a positive 10. When I multiply those in the end, I end up with negative. Here, I'm plus negative 3, that's going to be positive 9 minus 4, which is a positive. Negative 3 plus 4 is a positive 1. 5 minus a negative 3 is 5 plus 3, which is also a positive. So I get a positive for this interval. 0. 0 squared is 0. Minus 4 is negative. Um, 0 plus 4 is positive. 5 minus 0 is positive. If I multiply those, I get a negative for this region. Now plugging in 3. 9 minus 4 is positive. 3 plus 4 is positive. 5 minus 3 is positive. 6 squared is 36, minus 4 is positive, 6 plus 4 is positive, and 5 minus 6, though, is negative, so I get a negative. Now, I'm looking for the regions that are greater than or equal to 0, so I'm looking for the positives. So these two are my regions. Now, what kind of ends do they need? It does have the equal bar, so they will have the solid dots on the ends. Now... Um, they are separated, so I do have to have two intervals as part of my answer.